Is there anything more embarrassing than a bad freestyle besides stuttering during sex? The answer is undoubtedly no. No. My mouth. No. I'm about to go out and take this. Take wait. We've all witnessed a bad freestyle at least once in our lifetime, whether it's in person or online. But the one thing you maybe haven't experienced are the genuine reactions to these embarrassments. Don't deal with a back in your pockets on a diet, nigga. I'm calling you Atkins. Nah, that ain't it, y'all. Listen, nah, man. Nah, you are nah, fur nah, coat nah, nah, volume. In this video, we're not only gonna look at the trashest freestyles of all time and rank them from worst to best, but we're also gonna look at the backlash these artists received and how it affected their career. John in Tennessee, go ahead. What you wanna say? That shit is fuck trash, trash, trash. Who I see and is afraid to let go. Give me my perkies, boy. Don't you let go. How do you? It's it's been five seconds and you already managed to sneak perkies into your freestyle. That's actually impressive. Like what the fuck? It didn't even fit. He just needed to say it. He just needs to fill his daily perky quota. I got everything you need on me, yeah, yeah. I got perks, Molly. We here we go, perkies yeah, yeah. again. The perkies. I got everything you need on me, yeah, yeah. God gave her all the perkies that she wanted. Now she fucking. Bro, you can't make this shit up, man. God gave her all the perkies? Are you serious? Moonlight, spotlight. I don't even really want a spotlight. But it really put me in the limelight. Now I don't want to want a spotlight. And I got that new pipe. What I want to do with this new pipe. This is extremely disrespectful. Tim Westwood, I'm holding you accountable. You knew damn well what this was going to be. And you still put him over mad. Had X beats. Got a desert eagle and it's Fortnite. Uh, uh, play it like it's Fortnite. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm 100% confident in the fact that there's never been a good Fortnite bar in the history of rap. I don't play no games unless we talk a Fortnite. Play it like it's Fortnite? Play what like it's Fortnite? I don't really, really want the limelight. Niggas put me in the motherfucking limelight. Niggas put me in the motherfucking limelight. You can move me out the motherfucking limelight. Cause I really, really, really want to blow pipes. What? I really, really want to blow pipes? So that's not crazy? That's crazy, right? I know what he means, but why would you phrase it like that? Oh my, calm down with the pipe talk. Love it, really. yeah, yeah. I just know the label heads are in the corner like this. I'm a motherfucking stoner. I'm a motherfucking boner. I got a motherfucking boner. Yeah, my F in front of us, I got a boner. Said boner three times. Boner. Next. All right, next one. Devoured this beat. Killed this beat. Next one. Give me the next one. And I got big balls, ooh. And I got a big dick, ooh. She won. She thought it was my dick. No, that's my god. Alright, we're done. We're just gonna end it here. We're just gonna. Why would I? I'm not gonna do this. I don't have to do this to myself. <laughs> yeah, this one is pretty bad. This one is pretty fucking bad. This one is actually really bad. But Smoke Perp actually responded to the criticism. We're gonna take a look at that right now. Y'all also got. Y'all also gotta realize Moonlight wasn't even the only XB he gave me. He made me freestyle on Sad too. I feel like I did not have the right to freestyle on Sad and Moonlight. That can only come from like a Hall of Fame excuse maker, like a goddamn manipulator. You know, he was freestyling badly out of respect. <laughs> Yeah, I knew it was an eggs beat, so I didn't really even want to try and spit some terrible fucking bars over it because I respected the beat so much. Give me my perky, boy. Don't you let me my perky. <laughs> right, at least he can laugh at himself. It's good that he can laugh at himself. Goddamn. Yo, I just know this dude in the background was the first one to leave when the money dried up. Moral of the story is. I was just high as fuck, All right. you know what I'm saying? Whatever came out, came out. I didn't write nothing down, you know what I'm saying? That was apparent. That was as obvious as day. Anyway, after this, his career was never the same, although it was already spiraling downward up until this point, but this pretty much cemented his place in the trash rapper hall of fame that was never gonna be taken seriously. <laughs>
Iggy Azalea. Wow, this is gonna be amazing. Let me let me get into Iggy Azalea's freestyle real quick. You wanna do it a cappella? Mm. A cappella? Yeah, if you want me to tell okay, you. Oh go. my god. Iggy Azalea a cappella is gonna be an adventure. I'm I'm so ready for Iggy Azalea a cappella. I'm about to tell you a little story. Okay, good. Uh -oh. I like that. About a, about a guy I was dating. Oh, oh, oh shit. We wouldn't know him, would we? Of course not. <laughs> okay. You don't know anyone I date, boy. Okay. Why she call him boy? Now, but tell me the story. I wanna hear All right, that. I'm gonna okay. tell you. Ready? Go. You got a house on the hill. Sits in a valley. Sits in a valley. <laughs> By the way, if you don't already know, Iggy Azalea is Australian. Christ. And what she basically did is went to Texas for like two months and said, I'm gonna rap like them. Dave in America, like, oh my God, this is Laffy Taffy. Like, we don't even have that. You know what I mean? You know I'm really, who you kidding? Go and tell your friends. I am the chief and y'all just the Indian. So he's trying to move on with life, but he still want to be a good daddy. So I sit in a ride because I don't want it's overlapping. Better check my tax bracket. What you think was going to happen, nagging? I'm, I'm not imagining things. She's rubbing this shit in. Did you guys notice the difference in between how she talks and how she raps? It's completely different. She became famous. How is that possible? Cause the whole world is watching and the paparazzi is flocking and we fly shit when we drop in and we shut down your part in man. Yo, the early 2010s really were the worst time for music, weren't they? Sway's been doing this for a long time, okay? Even though Iggy Azalea keeps peeking over for confirmation, Sway knows better than to make full eye contact, okay? He knows damn well this is trash. He didn't look at her the entire freestyle. It's like he was ashamed. Hey, when I hop out his new whip, fresh in some new shit. Damn, she is too thick. Who is this? Yeah, I'm his new bitch. Yeah, it is. Oh. oh, that was such a cringy way to end it off. Damn, I love hating on Iggy Azalea. With the excessive hand movements, with the unnatural accent, Daddy. it's just a, it's just a fucking unholy matrimony of cringe, and I'm here for it. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so let's be honest, we were all expecting this out of a Iggy Azalea freestyle. But the real reason this went viral is because of this clip. And John in Tennessee, go ahead, what you wanna say? That shit is fucking trash, dog. Get the fuck off the airway. Alright, so even though we all felt John from Tennessee in that moment, okay, unfortunately. This clip is fake. The original okay, clip is from another Sway interview with a rapper called Lil Debbie, which is another white girl uh, who tried her hand at rapping in the early 2010s. Like there was really an influx of white women. So Iggy Azalea never really responded to the backlash she received. She came into the game being hated on constantly. So she pretty much got used to this kind of treatment and got used to ignoring it in the process. And unsurprisingly, her career died down not too long after. Did you guys hear that Iggy Azalea is making 50 million dollars a year off OnlyFans? Like, I know one of you have a subscription to her shit. Let yourself be known in the comment section right this instant, okay? We don't take this lightly. All right, fuck it. Who's next? Tyler the Creator, ooh, this is gonna be nice. Braid my wig ASAP, tap on my ribs, switch with him, then I can fuck all the sweet men that I wanna. Actually, I'm gonna heat it up real quick, motherfucker, I'm LeBron. -a. Listen, Flex, we just met, but I know it don't seem like all Kelly wet dreams. I always keep 16s, nigga. Damn, that's a bar. What are we talking about? Why is this on here? The man is spitting right now. Let him cook. Me and Flex looking in the index for buff net niggas just for some hot butt sex. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, why is he just looking at, why is he just making full eye contact? He's staring into his soul. What made you go with that verse? I don't know. <laughs> what made you go with that verse? Niggas playing around, this is right off the top, this is right off the cock. Me and Flex gonna go around the block and he gonna get <laughs> Tyler should do this to every like old head rap interview guy and see how uncomfortable they get on a scale of 1 to 10. That would actually be some good ass content. Get with all your niggas and get right behind them. What you gonna do me like your DM and slide yeah, get a load of this guy, am I right? <laughs> what's, what's this guy talking about? Flexing me emoji. No, there was no emoji. I ain't sending emoji. Wait a minute. I love how so much pressure is on Flex here because he has to like show his hardcore hip hop audience that he's not with the, he's not with the gay shit. He has to like, nah, bro, what the fuck? 
Like, what the fuck? Like, I don't know. So much pressure on him in this moment. It's such a funny, it's such a funny moment. <laughs> now, Flex, why are you lying? Why are you trying to play me like Shane in 50 Cent when he was dying trying just to get it, get it? I spit it, I read it, it, it. Mwah, I kiss it, nigga. Oh my God. Even though this is a sus freestyle and that obviously rubs a lot of people the wrong way, this is really impressive. Like, the way he's just pulling these words together and, like, clearly going off the dome. Who else can do this? Like, damn, this is this is really impressive. Man, this weird as fuck. I keep flirting with Flex and he ain't trying to fuck. Now I'm confused. I'ma leave. I just think that he hate me. I thought I came here so he date me. He talking about a freestyle. Ugh, nigga, fuck rap. Fuck that. I was trying to take him back and take off that hat. We could be like, wah, wah, wah on the lips. Again, this guy. Ah, I'm not with that. <laughs> but that's weird as fuck, man. I'm pause! Talking about dick. Pause! Pause, pause, nigga. Pause, pause. pause. When we leave, you gonna give me your info so I call. Say, Link, when you back in New York, I'm trying to give away a bike. Maybe yeah. we should get some dinner at night, nigga. Not only is this not one of the worst freestyles of all time, this is unironically the best freestyle I've ever heard. Swear to God. Bro, fuck all this premeditated written material that you come on the show just to like act out and rap intensely, acting like you're not just remembering pre-written lines. This is where it's at. He's showing character here, okay? It's entertaining. It's funny. We need more freestyles like this. Swear to God. Kanye. Okay. All right, let's do it. Fuck yeah. it. Kanye West, Sway in the Morning, mm -hmm. Shade 4 or 5. Wonder what you got. All right. Is Euro beat? <laughs> Bro, this weak ass. <laughs> you don't want that one? What is this? Don't do them like that. This is not fair. Mm. Okay. I sense you feeling that a little bit. Bro, this like inconspicuous it. ass production. This is the type of instrumental they play when you're sneaking around trying to uncover a mystery. This man doesn't want to rap. I can make shit rhyme. Mm. Oh, nah. I can make shit rhyme if I'm feel like, even if I don't. So I just might not. And I'm just going to freestyle for the first time with a freestyle that don't even go together. Oh, no rhymes. That's my new shit. Damn. <laughs> Uh oh, <laughs> you ain't got the answer, Sway. I can say it all night. <laughs> he could have said day, he said night. This is fire though, because he owned it. See how you can make shit work when you own it? I feel like it's less shitty when you don't try, right? You know the Kanye bar, when you try hard is when you die hard. He definitely didn't try hard here. And owning it is good, okay? It makes it not cringe when you own it. It's just some Kanye shit. It's just some shit he would do. We know about what happened after. We don't need to talk about that. All right, O'Melly, I'm not sure who this is. We ain't talking, no games, but you fuck niggas. You play around, you get a bang, nigga, fuck nigga. Uh, All right. This off the top, I'll be spit. Yo, I feel like the, uh, I feel like the, uh, is a cheat code. That's like a momentum shifter, you know? But I like the intensity on this man. This off the spot, this ain't no written shit. Damn. Shit, free my nigga Meek Melly down in book. And they took my nigga Snoop. Oh, nah. No, 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 no. Right away, this shit is worse because he's actually trying really hard and he cares and he's still fucked up. Then you have Sway. You have high expectations. You have a dude who's trying really hard and not doing well. And it just makes for a cringy moment. But let's hear him out. All my niggas, yeah, we riding now. Pussy nigga, we coming to your hottie out. I don't mind hottie mm. out. Fire out. Roll the window down. Mm -mm. Chip. Let me tell y'all nigga about Osama, twin llamas, since the younger, not twist your top and screwdrivers. Uh. That was some written shit he sprinkled in there because he noticed he couldn't go completely off the dome. I respect it. Dream chasers, uh, that's my click. That's my click. <laughs> this off the top, I gotta catch the beat. This for my niggas that be in the trap in the streets. Damn. I'm still knocking off the dime packs. They like Osama. Fuck man. Oh, come on, bro. Every time he's about to catch it and like make it sound good, he fucks up all over again. But that's realistic, though. If most of us went to freestyle, this is how it would sound. Just this in contrast with the Kanye freestyle, 
it's obvious that he's trying so much harder and that makes it all the more cringy. Oh my nigga shit ain't no nah, it ain't no falling out. Well, man, give me a different beat. Give you a different beat? Yeah, cause that's how I go sometimes. You gotta warm up sometimes. Don't blame the fucking production. That's like the shitty freestyle benchmark. This a lame ass beat. So, uh, <laughs> so you got that body like a week ago? You got that? Hey, you want that? that. Okay, hey, that's, that's oh, a hot beat right now. There it is. Right there. Uh, oh, Melly, I, I like this. Over. So now you better go off. They just booked my man about a week ago. Still fucking all these bitches. They be tweaking though. You fucking around, nigga. Where smoke your boy? All my niggas, we be with them. This boy. It's like every time, three bars, then he fucks up. A couple months, they ain't no sittings, bitch. Right. We gonna bounce back and right back to getting rich. M's on the table. DC the label. Man, niggas talking crazy. Stop a minute. Mm -mm. There it is, bro. There it is. <laughs> It's on cue, bro. You know that the fourth bar is gonna be trash. Mm, I'm in the game, just like Sega. You disrespect, I'm a. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. I chop shit, pop shit, pop a bitch a crib. I got him, spot him, red dot him, spot him, him. <laughs> No! I don't pop mollies, niggas, I pop hollows. Pussy nigga, mm, mm, I don't. Mm, 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 mm. Get back in the lab. You need to go back in the lab. Get some shots up. I got on gold headphones, gold chain, gold on my wrist. Aim. Come on. No. Nah, this is the worst one. This is definitely the worst one. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Oh my God. I think I've heard enough. I think I've heard enough. So obviously, yeah, he mentioned Dream Chasers in the freestyle. So he was signed to Meek Mill's label and came up under his wing pretty much. Unfortunately, the little buzz he did have was squandered on moments like this. Kneecapping his career before it even got off the ground. I don't think he's even released any music in the last five years. Damn, tough, tough, tough. Hey, mama, I did it. I'm finally here. Oh, nah, oh, nah, oh, nah, oh, nah, oh, nah, I can't do this. I can't do this. Out of respect to the special needs community, uh, I'm just gonna move on. Haiti, baby. Damn, I'm trying to bring a lot back to the community. You're trying to bring a lot back to the community. Nice, nice, nice. positive rapper, positive yeah. rapper shit. That's, come on. Real 92.3 shit, bootleg cat, DJ head. This free for use ass instrumental. Hi, hi, hi. Hi. Oh, come on, bro. Come on. Come on. He sounds like a quarterback making a play call. Hi, 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 hi. The best intro to a freestyle ever. And you know these old heads are not gonna like it. Hi, hi, hi. Bro, just starting off the freestyle like, hi, hi, hi. That's, that's just crazy. I'm a fucking bitch. I just hit. I'm another pretty cool. I'm a cut up in a dream pretty cool. I'm a pull up with the book. Hey, this takes confidence though. Again, he's showing character. Let's not let's not get it twisted. I'd take this over to smoke perp any day of the week. I might ride on my fucking confidence. This shit is retarded, you know that I started Shh, the quiet, the quiet. Haiti, you have to believe in your dreams, wise man. Okay, come on, come on, bro, come on. Martin Luther King, what the fuck? <laughs> Only Kendrick can get this off. And on a song, not on a freestyle, by the way. You have to believe in your dreams, wise man. You are the chosen one, you are the champ, wise man. Do you hear me? This is actually kind of hard, though. I'm gonna swallow the kids, Mike Tyson. <laughs> I'm all over that place. I'll open the room. God damn, this schizophrenic ass phrase. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm watching a debilitating mental patient? I make a top the mountain like a dragon. I was feeling real high. Hi, 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 hi. That's like a Peruvian mating call he made right there. That's all that you get. Why does he get? He kind of gets zesty every couple of bars. That was zesty as fuck. 
I don't need to rap no more. I can just do my ad libs. Watch this. <laughs> it's definitely the most unique freestyle look at him. experience just, you've ever had. Just look at him. That's the most different. What is he doing, bro? That's the most that's the, Ooh, the freestyle that's is bro. over. <laughs> Prior to this freestyle, Haiti Baby had one viral hit, but besides that, nothing major. This freestyle is pretty much the biggest thing he's done since. Though according to him, it gave him exposure and even benefited him in the short term. You're a smart guy. Yeah. So did you know what you were doing? <laughs> I knew what I was doing. Of course, there was so much positivity came after. Like I went gold because of that. I gained 122 followers because of it. I got I got bashed for it, I got, but I've never been the type to run away from pressure. So see, a bad freestyle can end up doing you some good after all and all there's left to do is ranking the freestyles from best to worst starting off with the best i'm gonna start off with tyler the creator as i said not even joking one of the best freestyles ever doesn't even belong on here number five i'm gonna say haiti baby it took a lot of balls to do what he did and i like that i like confidence in an artist so haiti baby at five at four i'm gonna go with kanye west it was a cool little meta freestyle he didn't really try so i guess hey it was kind of lazy but at the same time it was funny and something original you know so in that respect i have to show some love at number three i'm going iggy azalea i mean talentless artist what else is there to say the only reason people even remember the freestyle is because of the john from tennessee call and that wasn't even directed at her number two i'm going smoke perp just bad from every angle not even funny bad just like pathetic bad and number one i'm going omelly i mean it's just the cringiest one i respect the fact that he was trying his ass off but jesus that was that was hard to watch that was hard to listen to and off the cringe meter alone i'm going omelly at number one let me know what you guys think and what your list is what do you think is the worst freestyle of all time in the meanwhile drop a like subscribe comment do everything follow me on twitter pussy and i'll see you next time